Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today we're going to be talking about spoon flour as part of our print on demand series. Now, spoon flour, I should warn, is not necessarily a free platform, but it is one that is worth looking into because it's not, it doesn't cost a lot to get started. It was just to buy some um, examples of our, our products, which we'll talk about in, in a minute. But before we get started, let me tell you the difference between loading up a design to spoon flour and loading up a design everywhere else. Okay, so this is our repeating pattern, right, that we created in a prior video. Now, normally what we do is we create the file and we put the repeating pattern in, and that's our file for a specific product. For spoon flour, they are different, okay? All you need to do is load up your repeating, this, this initial repeat file, right? And then what happens is they will take this and they'll apply the repeat in it, and you actually get to adjust it as you want to. So in this particular instance, if you haven't created any of the other printful files or anything else, that's okay. All you have to do is get the repeat file to get started. All right, so it's really kind of neat on that, that angle of it. So now here's Spoonflower. And if you want to get started with Spoonflower, you just click Join. Right, when you click Join, it'll put in first name, last name, and whatever name like your store, your shop name would be. So it says screen name, but it says this will also be your shop name should you decide to become a seller. And since we're doing this for the purposes of selling, that's what you need to put there. Then the email address, which you do need to click on a verification code and you can choose a password. Now this is not everything you need to do to get, you know, paid by Spoonflower and everything, but it's a, it's to get started and get on it. Okay. So once you do that, you can come into Spoonflower and I'm already logged in and I'm going to go up here. Now you may see something different when you first log in, but this is like, so go to your studio. I'm actually going to go into the design library. And this is kind of where you load everything up. You get to add into collections and everything else. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add a design just so you can see how simple this is, right? So I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to choose that one that we were just looking at right here. It's the repeating file again, not a final file. And they have here files must be less than 40 megabytes and 150 DPI recommended. Now you can go higher than 150 DPI. It's just, that's kind of what they recommend. You need to confirm the copyright. So if you haven't designed this or you haven't otherwise um, made the purchase and you have the legal right to use this, then you can't you put it on Spoonflower, right? This is why we teach you guys how to design the products yourself. Or if you don't want to design, there's a link in the description to a guy who can design it for you and it will be unique. Just make sure you tell him that, right? So, and it says, you know, they tell you unacceptable content may include references to or images from a celebrity, fictional character, designer, business, company, etc. right? This is because they can't manage it and it's just, it's just a huge pain for trademark and everything else. So you want to make sure you're using your, the rights to your stuff, right? So once you have, you say that you just click it and then it'll let you upload. Okay. And then you wait for the upload. Let's go ahead and click this off. It doesn't take very long to upload. I did pause there for about five seconds and then of course it's at 100 percent and now it's not going so then it'll load up right now this is at a specific size so this one's it's smaller so this is eight by eight at 150 i i loaded a 300 dpi so let's go ahead and see what happens if i say 300 dpi so it makes it smaller right so you can change it as long as you've loaded it up a, as a 300 you can change it but i like to leave it at the 150 i think this is a bigger design is nice in this particular one so I'm going to leave it at that. And then of course, this is where you would want to add to cart your, um, not a fat quarter. You don't need to purchase a fat quarter to make this. You need to purchase a test swatch. Okay. So eight by eight, that is the actual size of my design right now. If I'm like, Hey, you know what? I want to change the repeat on this. Now I wouldn't because I already have it as a repeating file, but you could put something in here and you could change the repeat on it. Huh? I don't think it's going to work very well in this one, but you could, it'll, It'll change it. And I've done it before on some of them. You can look at wallpaper. You know, there's what it would look like as wallpaper. And then you can come in here and you can see different sizes too, right? So this is what it looks like as a yard of fabric. And you're like, hey, I don't know if I really like that. Might I want to change the size. Of course, you can make it smaller by, in this case, because I loaded it up as a 300 DPI, I could make it, you know, a 300 DPI, right? I can change the DPI and change this back to 300. And now it's even smaller on here, right? So I'm gonna go back and do 150 because I like the 150. I like the bigger one, bigger part. 
And then here I'm just going to do test swatch. You can pick the different kinds of, it doesn't matter. For you, the only reason why you have to pick a test swatch, you have to purchase a test swatch, is to activate the pattern. They want to make sure that your repeat's fine and your print's fine and everything else. So you can come in here and you can say, look, this is what I want to put it on. Like if I want to put it on fleece, what it looks like. If I want to put it on, um, you know, maybe chiffon. If I want to put it on satin. And you can have it printed out on that. Okay, so that's what you would want to do. Um, let's see, for our purposes, I'm going to go with, let's, well, and you can see the prices are going to change too. I don't want that. I want to test swatch. So, I don't know, does it show me the pricing here? Well, anyway, you can add it to the cart and it'll, it'll tell you the prices here. So, let's just go with, I really don't want that. I really want like a cotton. I don't know what cotton lawn is. Let's try that. It's beta. Hmm, why not? So that will show you the test swatch, and then you say add to cart. And then it should be in your cart. There it is, right? So there it is, and it's a cotton lawn beta. So then you can view your cart and check out. Now, there are discounts for higher, you know, if you want to if you want to do like, you know, 40 of these at a time. Pricing is not great. I'm going to tell you that now. It is a little pricey to get started, but if you're considering how much you can do, so like this one is they have an estimated total of $5. Right. So it's going to be before shipping, I believe, because you also have to charge. They also charge you for shipping. So when you come in here, just assume it's five bucks a, a sample. And then, you know, you get a discount if you get to a certain level. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that for a second. And I'm going to show you the different things they've got. Fabric, obviously, we just talk, we talked about fabric and we talked about wallpaper, but they also have living and decor. So let's go in here and then dining and bedding, etc. So let's look at the different products. So when you create a product. In fact, this might be easier to do if I go back into my, my shop. Yeah. So in my shop, I can come in here. I can click on the design as an example, and then I open this up already. So we can look at all the products for that one. Now it's applied it already to all the products. I think you get to choose on what you want, but you can see it's on wallpaper, kitchen and dining, bedding, living and decor and fabric, right? So those are all their products. And then you can come in, you can see like these are the um, that's fun. So it tells you the peel and stick removable woven wallpaper. So these are the different wallpapers. And then you can see where there's tablecloths. These are made tablecloths for them, right? So people can come in, they could purchase a tablecloth with your pattern on it. And for when we're doing marketing, this is great news because it gives us an opportunity to bring them in another way. And as long as you have your design and they're, they're, they want your product, then you're going to be able to make the commission off of it. Okay. And we'll talk about commissions in just a minute. So here we can see all these different, you know, here's some pillows. This is a curtain panel. That's kind of cool. Curtain panel in whatever design you want. And then, or whatever design you like. That's, that's pretty neat. Lots of people like curtains there. This one's a, a wall hanging. And then of course you've got your throw blanket and then your special pillow. So there's quite a few different products in here that could easily, you know, your products can easily be sold on and you make the commission. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about commissions. And here is their page on selling and commissions, right? So you get payouts every two weeks and it's as little as $10 in earnings. Now I'm going to tell you that we looked at what one of those designs, and I think it was like $20 a yard, right? And I don't remember what it was. We can look at that in a minute, but it's going to be 10% of whatever they sell it for. So if they put it on sale, it's still going to be 10% off that. And then it's, it's on the retail price at the material side. Oh, regardless of promotions or discounts, that's interesting. So I just lied. Well, I didn't lie. I was just wrong. Hmm. So you're going to get it on the retail price. So the retail price will be, let's look at um, some fabric real quick. And you can come in and basically people are going to be looking at the design, right? So let's just go into this one right here. And... Then you can see in here that this is how much it is, right? So it's nine dollars a yard there in a fat quarter. So let's go yard. And actually, a lot of people will buy the fat quarter. So let's just say a fat quarter, and somebody buys it for eleven dollars on this particular signature cotton. Um, you could, they've got other ones, right? Belgian linen. That one's at fifty-nine dollars a yard. That one's nice. So you've got. In fact, this one would look good on that. So let's just say it's a fifty-nine dollars a yard. It's going to be thirty dollars for a fat quarter, right? Versus what we're just looking at. That was a. So we're looking at 24 here, 20. So that one's a lower one. I think that might be the lowest is the 20. But you can just kind of get an idea. And I do recommend that you come in here and search and look around yourself. And there's a 19. And I think 
petal signature cotton. So that is their, that's their standard one. So the 19 is definitely going to be the cheapest one. And so if somebody buys a fat quarter, okay, select, it's going to be $11. So we're looking at $11 on the low end. And if you're making 10% of that, just so you guys don't have to believe me, you can just look at the math. A dollar ten, right? So you have to sell quite a bit still. I say quite a bit. You still have to sell, you know, some products to get ten dollars in earnings. But think about this as this is a huge marketplace still, right? People are coming on here. You're going to be promoting on places, which we'll talk about in other videos, how to push this out onto Pinterest, how to push this out into other places. So you're going to pay your five bucks to get something active and hopefully make that back quickly. Now, the challenge is, is that if you do not already have designs that sell, then you could be spending the money up front, right? So this is kind of one of those things where it's like risky. However, it's no different than spending, you know, five bucks on well, five bucks on Etsy, you still get to do a lot more listings, but 20 cents a listing, how many ever times hoping something's going to sell, right? So you still have to kind of keep in mind that there's, there's still an expense no matter where you go eventually, right? You can get started completely free through the methods that we talk about, but eventually you're going to start paying money. So if Spoonflower is one that is appealing to you, I highly encourage that you do that. So we're looking at this one is you start at 10% and of course, as you get higher, if your monthly commissions totals worth $309.99, you get 11%, so you get an extra 1% bonus, and then it goes up, right? And if you're at $1,500, you get 15%, so 5% bonus. So that's pretty nice on Spoonflower. And once you've put loaded up once and you verify that it prints well and everything else, you're good to go, and so you just keep selling indefinitely, right? So that's the great thing about it, I think. And then, of course, you've got all those different um, opportunities. So let's actually look at Okay, let's look at placemats because I need some placemats. So we're going to look at them. And all of these are different, right? This is, I do like designing my own stuff too, but these are kind of interesting, I guess. I like the old style blue on there, but not so much the leopards. It's kind of weird. So this one, the retail price would be $29, right? And that is for a set of two. And that's not bad when you are doing fabric tablecloths obviously if you're making it it's going to be a lot cheaper for you but yeah so we've got you know placemats sorry if i said tablecloths um let's see if we do a lumbar throw pillow all right let's just click on the first one you don't need to browse and this is just the cover only if you want the cover and the insert it's going to be 56 dollars, and the cover only is 44 dollars retail right so just that's, these are all different things though. Once you have your products, right? So let's go back into mine here. These are my products, right? So if I can promote this page right here, right? I can say, look, I want to promote this one. Do, do, do. So oh, where's my little button? My Pinterest button's not popping up here. So we can do something like that. And then I actually put, cannot put on this account. So you get, anyway, you can save it as a pin and then it's, it's on Pinterest, the Pinterest world. Well, Spoonflower does do a really good job of promoting this on different places if you're signed up for that. So when you go into, um, uh, my account, which is going to be here and why are you not working? Huh? So let me click on it anyway. So you go into my account, weird, and you get to the, you go to my account. So account settings, my account, right? Then this is where you go right here, click on design distribution, and they have to put your password in. And then you can select if you want them on home decor or if you just want it on fabric, right? So yes, this one's mine's on home decor. And then this is the external marketplaces. And now this is, is in beta. They've been doing this for a while. Spoonflower, if you guys did not see before on Etsy, Spoonflower does a lot of sales. And here you can see... 730,917 sales. Now, I don't know how long they've been on, but I can tell you now that I have checked frequently and they are, they're regularly in the top, you know, 100 sellers on Etsy. So they're definitely popular on Etsy. And that's a really good way so that you're like, Hey, I want to sell on Etsy, but I don't want to have to manage everything. Well, you go through Spoonflower, you say, yes, I want to be on there, you know, and update your settings and everything, which 
I can't remember if you're on it automatically or not. But anyway, I came in here and made sure that everything was set in there so that I am selling home, to, home decor and I'm selling external marketplaces. So then one last thing I want to cover before we go, and this obviously is not an extensive overview, but this is to get you started on Spoonflower. And then you can hop in and ask questions is that you can go to promotional tools right here and you can do other things right here, right? So link back to your shop. So you have some buttons. So if you have your own site or something, you can link back to your shop there with this little visit my Spoonflower shop. And then here's another one here. And then this is linked back to Spoonflower right here. Okay. And then it keeps going. And then you can get the Spoonflower portfolio, show your shop or favorites on your website or blog with the help of this little widget. So you can put this on uh, as a widget on your site. So there's a lot of different options to get started with Spoonflower. This is a great way so you don't have to have inventory. You can still sell a wide variety of items and you're not managing it, right? You're not, it's not drop shipping. It's nothing else. You're just designing it. So you make that commission and that's it. And the steps are really simple, right? You load your design, you purchase a test swatch, and then you turn on the design after receiving the test swatch and decide, of course, if you want your items on, on home decor, which would be, you know, living in decor, dining, bedding, etc. Right? So in fact, let's look at bedding. I didn't see any bedding. I didn't see my stuff in bedding. I'll have to look that up. But in the meantime, that's how you get started on Spoonflower. If you have additional questions, hop into the Facebook group. You can ask them here if you want, you know, more details on stuff or if you can't find something. Um, you can also, of course, come live every Thursday and ask questions live. And for today, thanks for watching. Please like this if you like this kind of content. And if you're like, hey, I got here without watching the rest of the print on demand videos, check out the link in the description for the entire playlist of how you can get started completely free with print on demand. If you want to skip spoon flour, you can. There's lots of other options as well. And that's it for today. Thanks.